Hi, I'm Daniel Jensen. I'm Travis Barker's Drum Tech, and we're going over the Blink-182 UK Euro Touring Kit for this tour. Uh, all the drums, Orange County Drum Percussion, they're two-band acrylic. It's a 5x12 rack tom, a 22x22-inch bass drum with a double-wide hoop, 14x16-inch floor tom, both toms have die cast tubes on them, coated emperor's top, and coated ambassadors on the bottom. Uh, snare drums, 7x10, die cast tubes top and bottom, uh, vented acrylic, and the main snare is a 6.5 machined aluminum with coated uh, emperor X on top, uh, die cast top and bottom on that. We're uh, using Yamaha DTX electronics. We uh, have Zildjian cymbals, we have a 14 inch A custom crash, 18 inch uh, projection crash, A custom 16, uh, A custom, a projection 19, 18 inch oriental, and a 21 inch sweet ride brilliant, and a set of quick beat uh, Zildjian uh, brilliance also. Uh, we have uh, Travis Barker sticks from Zildjian, we're using uh, all DW pedals and hardware, and uh, Audix mics. All we have uh, Audix mics on, everything like that. Everything's lug locked. It beats everything pretty well, so we had to keep it all secured down. Got grip tape on all the pedals. We have a wood block built into the bass drum that he uh, plays. It's a percussive type instrument. We have coated emperors top and bottom on everything here. Well, we have coated emperors on the top, coated ambassadors on the bottom, Emperor X on the main snare. All the heads are changed out every single day. We're using a Power Stroke Pro on the bed, Power Stroke Pro coated bass drum on the batter, a P3 smooth white on the front, ambassador snare Remo bottoms on the snare drums. Snare drum definitely takes the abuse. It, uh, the Emperor X definitely is a, a savior in this because without that we'd be uh, we'd be dust very quickly uh, in the Perseid. His his strike is pretty uh, pretty persistent, pretty accurate. It pretty much beats through a head pretty fast. Uh, the cymbals definitely are definitely taking the next of the uh, of the abuse, but we've been really lucky. Everything's been holding up really well on this tour, and uh, yeah, it's been good. We've been out here for ten weeks and. We haven't gone through too much stuff, so we've been pretty lucky this time around. Well, most of our panic moments usually come into the fact of everything that he's beating. He ends up tearing up his hands so much that there are huge chunks of meat coming off them. We have to stop the show and cut chunks of bloody meat off his hand. Now that, that runs into a bigger problem for us than anything else. A lot of, a lot of blood. Blood, spit, chalk dust. We use a chalk ball, a climbing chalk. And between the combination of blood, sweat, spit, and chalk dust, it gets... Uh, Definitely gets pretty messy, but uh, sticks, we blow through a lot of sticks. He, uh, he definitely gives the abuse to, to all of that. But uh, like I said, we've been, we've been pretty lucky His, uh, on everything holding up for us. Everything we got's really good, very durable. We've, uh, we've learned to know what lasts for us and what doesn't, so it's been, uh, it's been good. Greetings drum chums and welcome to issue 13 of iDrum Magazine where we have an interview with the fabulous Mr. Travis Barker. We also conclude our roundup of the Minor Festival with interviews with Matt Halpern, Jos Nickel, Hannes Grossman, Milos Meyer and JP Bouvet. Inside you'll also find interviews with the legendary Danny Serafin from Chicago or CTA as it was known at one time. And we also get with the uh, rather fun loving and very amicable Mr. Johnny Rad. And in our review section, we get to take a look at the Duende Cajon. We also look at the Evans Black Chrome drum heads, Ludwig's Club Gate Jazzette kit, which is very sparkly, I hasten to add. And of course, we get to look at some minor cymbals, some Zildjian cymbals, and of course, some prominent snares, which are really rather special. And we also get to check out the Pearl Daniel Erlinson signature snare drum. Not only that, we also take a look at Pearl's new Demon Drive pedal. And of course, at the very back end of the magazine, you'll find our comprehensive roundup of all the latest CD, DVD, and book releases that have hit the market since we were in front of the cameras last issue. 
Obviously there's tech sessions as well, so do enjoy those and uh, they're all designed to make you smarter, better players. That's it, that's issue 13 of iDrum Magazine. Enjoy it.